Guys, always ask if they have extra games. Look at this. What's good everyone? It's a brand new day and we came across a brand new deal. I was looking through Facebook Market and I saw a bunch of Nintendo Wii games pop up for 30 bucks. Um, I was looking through them and I saw a couple of games that would make it worth going out there for. It's only about a 15 minute drive from where I'm at. Um, but we're about to get in the car and we're gonna show you the footage from that. Let's go. What do you think? Yeah. Is it cool if I just look through it real quick? Yeah, absolutely. I'll I'm sure it's all in here, but I just wanna check it out. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. All right, guys. Yeah, I just wanted, to, there was just really one game I was after, but I'll take them all. Yeah, definitely. You guys don't have any other games for sale by chance, do you? Like old Nintendo stuff or Sega? Uh, oh. Sure. Yeah, I'll definitely check them all out. Xbox One's that okay. we're getting rid of. Xbox One stuff. Okay. Yeah, Xbox I don't think I'd be. I don't think I'd be super interested in Xbox One stuff, but right. you said. Where the games go? Um, back. These games. Oh yeah, there's these. All of this stuff is working that you guys know of. Um, this, no, this does not work. Ah, uh, okay. It comes these with two it. work. Yeah, okay. you just have it. There's just more damn things. So the Wait, is you said I could just, I could just have this? You don't care? Yeah. Okay. It takes charge. We just can't get it to turn on. I mean, I'll definitely take it. <laughs> right here. Oh, I'm nasty. Uh, it's all there good, man. Is, there's Lilo and Stitch. Okay. How much are you guys looking for for all this stuff, by the way? Right. And then Mario Party. Okay. A couple of Zelda's. Oh, what did we have the DS on there for? I have to see how much I got. I appreciate the one y'all gave me though. Either way, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it, it takes a charge. The light blinks, but it don't turn on. Okay. You said there was Nintendo 64 stuff too, or no? Th this stuff right here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys. So normally I don't walk into strangers' homes, but sometimes you got to check out their games. We just settled on these three games right here. Uh, so we have The Legend of Zelda. We have The Adventure of Link, and we have Bomberman 2, which is crazy. I've never seen this game in the wild, and the label looks awesome. We spent $25 on these, which is a pretty decent deal. However, they threw in this freaking bad boy for free. Now, they did say something about it not working, but you guys know I love Super Mario stuff. This is the 25th anniversary. So this is just literally going on the shelf. Whether it works or not, that's beside the point. Anyways, guys, 25 bucks for all this, plus $30 for the Wii games, and we're gonna show you all this stuff when we get home. Let's go. All right, guys, so as y'all saw, we just left that one deal, and somebody messaged me back from a deal that would have went down like about a week ago, but we couldn't really come to a price. They had a Sega Mini still in the box, and they had the Mario Game & Watch, like the one that just recently came out. We're gonna get both of those things for $45, which is a pretty decent deal, because right now I think the Game & Watch is still worth around 40 or so, and then the Sega Mini is probably worth like 40 or 50. So we're gonna get both, we're about to meet up with them, we're gonna spend $45, pretty freaking crazy. Let's go. Still have the stickers on That's it. That's like so sick. We said 45 for everything? Yeah. And then uh, the Genesis? Okay. I'm going to let you look at everything to make sure it's all yeah, in Yeah, I'll just, just set it right here and just double check. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's all in here. Yeah, like I said, I've been selling quite a bit of stuff. I don't Yeah. Yeah, no, I got you. They should have two controllers in there. The uh, console deck itself, uh, the power cord. Okay. It looks like it's all in here. And I believe it HDMI, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, this looks super brand new. Yeah. You didn't play it much? I, I opened it and plugged it in just to see. Oh, it was like, oh, gotcha. Sonic, and then just turned it back up. Yeah. Cool, man. And do you have any other, I mean, not right now, but do you have anything else that you're looking to sell by chance? Like more uh, more gaming stuff? Or? I can get more gaming stuff. That's the thing. I can get just about anything. <laughs> okay. Do you like buy like U-Hauls? Not U-Hauls. What are those? Storage units or anything like free, that? Free money. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Sega Mini. Wow, it's loud out here. Cool. You got this, that. So sick. 
All right, guys, just met up. We spent $45. We got that Sega Mini in the box, which legitimately looks brand new. He said that he opened it up, played it once, and then just put it back in the box. So that's freaking sick. And then that Game & Watch is still sealed. It's still brand new, which he did mention in advance. Long story short, he said that he goes to those like storage unit auctions and he buys those things and then he flips them. So I gave him my phone number. This is like a great contact to have. Hopefully it turns into some more stuff. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay guys, we just got back to the house. We got a bunch of crazy stuff. Let's go ahead and take an up close look at everything we just picked up. All right guys, we got everything here on the floor. Sorry, it's not laid out super neat. We're just gonna kind of go into it little by little. This was from the first deal with all those Wii games. As you can tell, we got the banger right there. But first I wanna talk about what I have in my hands. We've got these Nintendo little slip covers for the NES or for NES games. I don't know why guys, I'm always so excited to come across this type of stuff. I don't really have too many of these, but they're seriously perfect for NES games. So went ahead and showed y'all those first. I don't know what we should look at other than, mm, we'll just go one by one. So first of all, we got these games for 30 bucks, but instead of showing y'all those first, we're gonna do this completely out of order. <laughs> We go inside the dude's house after he tell he told me he has more games. Y'all saw the footage for that. They said I could just have this because it wasn't working. They did say something about um, it would plug into a charger, and I'm pretty sure they said it would light up, but it could just be like something simple like the battery issue. However, I'm not looking to play this. This is literally going to sit on the shelf because this is the Super Mario Bros. 25th anniversary DS. This is something I've actually been wanting for a while, but you guys know we don't really spend a lot of money here on this channel, so we just wait to find cool stuff like this, and we finally found it. So whether it works or not, that part does not matter to me at all. Super excited to be adding this to the collection. And guys, we're going to go over some Zelda games. We got Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, and we have The Legend of Zelda. I know I own one of these. I think I own the, the Legend of Zelda. So this will be adding to the collection and then we'll sell this one off to recoup some of our money that we spent. And then guys, the freaking banger of the lot. I had no idea that this game was worth so much freaking money, but for whatever reason, it is. <laughs> so we have Bomberman 2. I probably wasn't even freaking out when I saw this. Part of me had an idea that it was worth a good bit, but I had no no clue. Like I didn't know it would be worth over 100 bucks. So, this is freaking insane. We spent $25 on this stuff right here and they threw this in for free. So, 25 bucks for this little pile right here, which is absolutely insane. And guys, we're going to go and get these games out and then we're going to go over them one by one. Okay, guys, we just took the games out. And y'all know here on this channel, sometimes it's kind of fun to just get a bunch of games and like not really even look through all of them until you get home. It's almost kind of like a mystery box. So all I knew is that this game was in here and then I could briefly see the other games. I just didn't really look through them thoroughly. I figured for 30 bucks for this entire stack of games, it was gonna end up being decent. So first up, we got Mario Kart for the Wii. And they're all for the Wii, so I don't know why I would say that. Next up, we got the Garfield Show. Actually looks like it'd be interesting. Sometimes these like random games like this are super fun. So we'll have to give that one a go. We got Wipeout, the game. We got Game Party 3. We got Carnival Games Mini Golf. I've actually sold one of these recently. I think it sold for like 10 or 12 bucks. I might keep this though, because once I sold that game, I was like, you know what? I kind of wanted to keep it and I sold it for whatever reason. And now we got another copy of it. So I think we're going to add that one to the collection. Puzzle challenge crosswords, really beat up looking, but that's okay. Ultimate I Spy. I remember the I Spy books when I was a kid, never played any of the games. Don't know how that's going to be. Harry Potter years five through seven. We picked this up a few weeks back, or maybe it was a couple months back now, actually, for like $3, I think, at a pawn shop. It almost makes me wish that we just waited a little bit longer, because I'm still playing um, Harry Potter years one through four. We haven't even gotten into this yet, but whatever. We got an extra copy now. 
Tony Hawk ride. I don't have this, but I also don't have the actual board that I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this because of that. We play, I feel like every time you find a bunch of Wii games, you're gonna get a copy of Wii Play. Truth or Square, SpongeBob. Never seen this game. Don't know if it's gonna be fun. Might check it out. Sonic and the Secret Rings. So they spent about 10 bucks on this. I'm pretty sure they got this at our local game store, Dusty's, because that looks really, really familiar. So shout outs to them. An awesome game store. If you've never checked them out and you're in the area, make sure to go to Dusty's. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. This might be cool. It looks interesting. Just Dance 3. All right, let's go. Oh, this is a Target exclusive edition. Maybe there's a little more value on this. I'm not sure. And we fit. Wow, this is junky. All right, guys. Once again, we spent 30 bucks on this little stack of games. Pretty sure we did decent on that. Let's go and look at the next stuff. All right, guys. And this was that deal that I told you about was supposed to happen like a couple weeks ago. The person hit me back. I was trying to get everything for a really good price. And they, were, they weren't really budging on it. But out of nowhere, they messaged me and they're like, yo, do you want both of these for 45? And I was like, yes, I can come and pick those up. So we have the Game & Watch, which just came out. Well, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. At the time of recording this video, this did not come out that long ago. So it's crazy to me that this is still sealed. He said he buys those like storage units and this happened to be in there. I don't know, but anyways, this didn't come out that long ago from the time of filming this video. So this is crazy to me to see. And guys, we got a Sega Genesis in the box. We already kind of looked at it. We're not going to go super up close right now, but it seriously looks like it's like minty, like brand new. And we already have one of these. We have both of these actually. So these are all just extra things that we can use to trade or to even sell. An amazing few deals, guys. I think my favorite thing, honestly, is going to be this Super Mario Bros. 25th anniversary. However, this might be the next favorite, Bomberman 2 for the, for the NES. Freaking crazy. Guys, sometimes the deals just seriously pop off like all at the same time. A lot of the times though, you don't, like you guys will see these deals and they'll be like weeks apart or they'll be like, I don't know, like days apart. But for example, today it was just like one after the other, which is crazy. Anyways, guys let's keep going what's up guys we came across another freaking deal this dude has a stack of xbox games actually i think they're xbox 360 games he was asking for 60 and i was like <laughs> offer 20 which is way too low and he goes i'll let you pick out 10 games for 20 and i was like okay that's fine so there's nothing too too crazy about this deal but 10 games for 20 bucks i'll do that any day of the week so anyways we're about to meet up with him. Here's the footage for that. All right, I'll just go and give you the 20 and maybe just look through them real quick or? Do not have a case. Okay, I think I was kind of looking more at those. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's get over it. How's it going, sir? We're good, yeah, thank you. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna look through them real quick. All right, guys, we got some pretty good stuff. So that deal just went down. I was able to pick out 10 games for 20 bucks. We start talking. He tells me that he has some Pokemon games, which I didn't show you all the footage for that, but I actually did look to see what he had. He knew the prices and the values of all that stuff. So he actually had like each individual card like sleeved and price and everything like that. So I kind of passed on that stuff. Um, he said he might have some baseball and football cards and stuff like that. I told him to let me know, but he also mentioned something about having a Game Boy, Game Boy games and like a carrying case. That's the stuff I would much rather have. I told him to send me some pictures. If that deal pops off, you guys might see that in this episode, if not the future episode. Um, but anyways, we're about to go back to the house real quick and we're gonna kind of look through everything we got and we're just gonna total up the total potential value. Let's go. Guys, back to the game room once again. We're gonna take a quick look at everything we just picked up. Let's go. All right, guys, just a quick recap. We spent $20 on everything that you see here. So first and foremost, this is actually just the case for the Lego movie video game. The game inside is Batman the video game. And he did throw in this Walking Dead survival instinct. So that was a bonus game. Pretty cool. Um, so we got two games there. We got Batman 2. 
DC superheroes, and we got Batman 3. I figured if I was going to get any of these Batman games, I might as well get all of them, and then we can just lot them together. Next up, we have this game called Hunted, The Demon's Forge. Never heard of this game. I mean, it looks interesting, and it's by Bethesda, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we got Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle Earth 2. I think this is the same game I've sold on PC a couple of times. I can't remember. Um, but this game, I think last time I checked for the 360 was worth like 14 or 15 bucks. So this right here will almost pay for everything, which is amazing. Next up, Sonic the Hedgehog for once again, the 360. Never played this version of the game. Kind of curious to see what it's like. It looks like it'd be interesting. And it's a Sonic game, so usually you can't go wrong. Another game, we got Dark Sector. Never heard of it. We got Saints Row the Third. We have Gears of War Judgment. And then we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance. But this is the one that comes with Forza 2. So it's technically two games in one. But guys, once again, we spent 20 bucks on all of this. Let's throw it into price charting real quick. Let's see how we did. All right, guys. I just threw these games into price charting. Uh, the more notable stuff, we're just going to kind of focus on that. Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle Earth 2, worth about $14. And guys, that's Sonic the Hedgehog, even though it's the Platinum Hits version, supposedly is worth around $16, bucks, which is kind of crazy because I was not expecting that. Uh, so we're looking at about $80. I also did not put in the value for that survival game, uh, The Walking Dead. That one was worth about five bucks, so you can add another five to this if you like. We're just going to round down and say a conservative price for about 80 bucks. All right, guys, I think that's going to be the end of today's freaking episode. Whew, it was pretty freaking awesome. Definitely got some really, really cool stuff. Drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was. Was it one of those Xbox games? Was it something else from one of the other deals? I love hearing from you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Until next time, peace.